All right, guys, I put old Betty Lou up in the uh, vise to hold her tight. I'm gonna show you the first thing we need to do to take this uh, bolt out. First of all, we wanna open the action, make sure there's nothing in there, which there's not, and close it back. If you have an older style like this one is, it is a uh, screw driven system and if not the only difference is the newer ones actually use a uh, hex key so first thing you'll do you'll put your screwdriver in here if I can get this camera to focus and you'll see how I got the screwdriver in my left hand and the bolt in my other you put your screwdriver to where you're putting torque on the screw as you're pushing down on the handle and then you can loosen it up once you got it loose you can take the bolt up let's see if I can zoom this out and on this model you have the uh, little lever here you have to push in on this while pushing in. You have to push in on the trigger and push on that at the same time and slide your bolt out. Once you've got it all laid out, it's easier for me just to put my finger on this trigger and then push that in. And then there's your whole bolt out. Let me set a few pieces to the side and we'll get started. Alright guys, as you can see I've got me a uh, uh, a little mat out to work with because nine times out of ten whenever you work on um, guns especially pieces like this you're gonna have internal components that's gonna fly apart and you want to kind of have you a good working area but you can uh, remove this screw and you just loosen it up and there's a spring in here so always be prepared for tension so I kind of aim, aim it down towards the uh, mat. All right, we've got our screw loose. We'll take that out, sit it to the side. And if you'll notice, you've still got your collar and your bolt. Once you take that off, you can slide your bolt face, your bolt handle off. Because uh, this is another good thing about this video is a lot of people like to change these out and put fancier different style bolts in and that's how you take that off next we will slide this collar off this collar will just slide right off the end if you look it's got a ball bearing in it and that ball bearing runs into that groove so when you put it back on you'll have to line the ball bearing up with the groove so you slide your collar off and then you have this little pin right here that you'll pull down to a certain area and you have to work with it and then you'll twist it and when you twist it that piece will come out you notice how I have my thumb here holding this little collar and you can slide this little collar out with that collar out you can slide out your firing pin and spring mechanism and then with that out 
We'll take the broke piece out. And you can take and just slide your bolt face off. And there's your bolt body. And if you take your bolt face, you have a little washer. You can sit to the side. And then you just have this one lug that slides off the other. And that's basically how to take the bolt apart. I'm going to clean up all this. There's no need in taking this apart, this firing pin apart, unless it's broke. But while we have all these pieces apart, I'm going to uh, clean them and uh, go grab my new piece. Because I left it... Oh, wait a second. I did bring it. It's right here. I want to check this because on the Savage 110 there is two different um, sizes of these. One is a large hole as you can see. This one says Savage large hole. And I want to check because even though they know what they're doing they could be problems and send you the wrong one. It fits in here just good like so it'll fit through the bolt face but here's the main thing is we want to check the firing pin because if this would have been the small hole firing pin this would not have fit on here so now let me clean all my parts up and we'll put her back together